questions on this topic, half lifetime material, let's start. I am Mohammed Zidane. Half lifetime was the meaning of this. For unstable atoms of some radioactive materials like radium, uranium, and plutonium, the time it takes amount of m grams, for example, to be half m grams, okay, this time is called half lifetime, T half, okay? In general, when you have any radioactive substance, okay, after T time or any time, it loses some of its amount, some of its material, some of its weight becomes a new one, becomes smaller. This is considered, this one is initial amount to Q naught. This is a, a remaining amount after a time T. The relation between the recent amount, this is the recent amount of material, recent amount of, uh, re or remaining amount of material. This is the remaining amount usually uh, measured in grams or milligrams, and this is the initial amount, the amount I start uh, started to uh, radiate. This relation is QT is equal to Q naught, the initial amount, E to the negative RT. R is called the constant of decay. Usually this uh, function is decreasing function in this way like this going like this, starting from the biggest number here, the initial amount, and become smaller and smaller. Let's uh, solve some question to, so, uh, to show you how can you deal with uh, this, this type of questions. The amount of plutonium 241 uh, present at any time is reduced to its half of its size in 13 days, okay? What would 100 grams or milligrams of this material be reduced to in seven days. First of all, you have half lifetime. T half now is equal to uh, 13 days. Let's use the formula uh, I said now. QT is equal to Q naught E to the negative RT, okay? Uh, because this is half lifetime, I write now, uh, uh, the, uh, consider the initial amount, it was uh, like A becomes half A. Okay, e to the negative r time the half lifetime is 13 days. By solving this equation, simply you can um, uh, solve in this way, like this. Okay, spread color, divide each side by a, and now e to the negative 13 r is equal to half 0 0.5, which is 1 over 2. By taking ln of each side, ln e to the negative 13 r is equal to ln half. Uh, e to the ln e, this one can be written as according to logarithm rules, negative three, negative 13 r ln e is equal to ln half. And after that, ln e of course is one. So just to divide by negative 13 divided by negative 13. So r is equal to uh, this is a constant of decay is equal to zero point by using a calculator zero point to zero uh, five three three two three significant figure. Okay. Now I have the relation now uh, completely. I know Q of T now is equal to uh, the any initial amount to Q naught in, into an E to the negative this R value 0 0.0533 times any time T. So what would a uh, hundred milligram of this material be reduced in seven days? Only substitute in this amount, uh, as you see now, the remaining amount after seven days is equal to the initial amount is 100 milligrams e to the negative 0 0.0533 times the net, the t is seven days. By solving this expression by calculator, you will get about 68.85 uh, milligrams. Here to the nearest milligrams, I think, how many milligrams uh, milligrams, I can round it to be 69 milligrams. Okay, this is answer. 
uh, activity number six, the amount of sodium 24 present at any time is reduced to half of its size in uh, 15 uh, hours. So T half now is equal to 15 hours. Uh, simply, you can use the formula now to find the uh, constant of decay. Um, the constant of decay simply is <clears throat> len 2 over uh, the half lifetime, T half. You can use this formula to calculate the, the constant of decay R. R is called the constant of decay or decay constant. Decay constant. So R is equal to ln 2 over half lifetime 15 is equal to <coughs> 0 0.0462. OK? What would one kilogram, write the formula again, Q of T equal Q naught E to the negative RT. So what would the one kilogram of material be reduced in 90 days? So Q after 90 days, Q 90 is equal to, you can write one kilogram as a 1000 grams, okay? Or leave it kilogram, no problem. E to the negative, the R you get 0 0.0462 uh, times uh, 90. By using calculator, you can find the answer, okay? The answer I found it. Um, 15.6, 15.6 grams, approximately. Okay. Uh, this question, the half-life time of radium uh, 226 is uh, 1,600 years. Uh, you can find the decay um, ratio or factor of decay R equals the link to over half-life time, T half. Okay, equals lin to divided by 1,600 uh, years. The answer is 4.33 times 10 to the negative four, very small number. Okay, suppose that at present one gram, at present this is a uh, recent amount of radium 226, about how many uh, grams were present five uh, years, uh, 5,000 years ago? He asked now about, uh, the initial amount, Q naught now, I don't know, okay? So according to the formula, QT equals Q naught E to the negative RT, okay? <clears throat> the Q naught, I don't know, just write it Q naught E to the negative, the amount to have R I mentioned now after 5.33 uh, um, times the 10 to the negative four, times t, which is 5,000 years, okay? Equal the recent amount. The recent amount is what? Is one grams or one, yeah, one gram, okay? How can I solve this one? If I divide by this amount, divide each side by this amount, uh, uh, really, when you divide each side by E to this amount will be only positive, with negative 4.33, blah, blah, blah. It's the same here, negative 4.333, this amount, I mean, okay? So this is cancel out, so you have Q naught, the initial amount equals one, one over this one is really E to the positive, amount, the same amount in positive. 4.33 times 10 to the negative four times 5,000. By using calculator, you can uh, calculate this amount. It was, um, um, at 8.724 grams, okay? 8.74 grams, this is uh, the initial amount. Uh, last question I have today, this one, suppose that uh, um, 500 milligrams of thorium-234 are reduced to 410 grams in one week. Okay, I have initial amount and have a recent amount and have the time it takes. One week, seven days. So write the formula Q of T is equal to Q naught E to the negative RT. Uh, the Q of T supports 500, this initial amount. Always the initial amount is bigger than the recent amount. The recent amount is 410 is equal to 500 into E to the negative R. I don't know the R, but the time is seven. By solving this equation, by dividing by 500, 
each side. So uh, e to the negative seven r is equal to 0 0.82 this I'm now 410 divided by 500. By taking ln of each side, so negative seven R simply is ln 0.82, okay? So the R is ln 0.82 divided by uh, negative seven. And you can use this formula to find the R, the constant of decay. The R now is um, 0. Uh, zero two eight three five. Okay, the question here is asking about what is a, a half lifetime? The half lifetime, as you know, t half is equal to ln two over the r. So ln two divided by the constant of decay zero point zero two eight three five. Okay, this is the half lifetime. Uh, is equal to about 24 days, 24.4, about 24 days to the nearest uh, day. And after that, uh, this is, let me change the sign. Okay, so let me change here to be red. First, I want to erase this part. Okay, so the first part is we calculated this 24 hours, okay. And to go to the pen again. Uh, this part is 24 uh, hours. Uh, number B, what would 500 grams, this, is, this one is finished. Uh, what would 500 milligrams of this material be reduced in 30 days? Give your answer. So Q after the amount after 30 days is equal to the initial amount is 500 milligrams times e to the negative r. The r is uh, 0 0.02835 times um, how many after 30 days? Only substitute in the formula and to solve this amount. The answer is 213.6. So simply you can write the answer here 213.6 about. 214 um, milligrams and this amount it was 24. Thank you so much. See you next time. Goodbye.